Hi my angels, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a fabulous time. So today I'm coming to you with a tutorial on how to do your threading, how to do eyebrow threading at home. This is very easy and it will save you a lot of money if you will get used to of doing this. And this is a very popular method. The results last for a really long time compared to tweezing. So to begin, you would need a thread definitely. This is a special kind of thread that you can get at any store, any beauty store. And these are thicker than the normal threads. Next, you would need small scissors, easily available at any store. You can get these from any beauty salons or anywhere. And then you would need a loose powder. If you do not have a loose powder, don't worry, you can use baby powder if you have at home. That would work great. The next thing you would need is an eyebrow pencil to fill in your eyebrows and a spoolie to brush your eyebrows. So first I would like to show you guys what you're gonna do with thread. You will cut the thread almost like 15 centimeters uh, like like small you can so small piece of thread then you're gonna make a knot tie a knot and close the ends and then you will twist the thread the way I'm showing in this video so it should look like this this is called the scissor method and then you need to practice this so you're gonna move your hands um, like this I'm going to do this in slow motion. Yes, so you need to practice this motion. I would suggest practicing it on your legs before you do it on your eyebrows. So just practice this method, like how to use your hands. So here is my eyebrow. You can see it's pretty messy. The first thing I'm doing is I'm shaping my eyebrow. You might be thinking why I'm shaping my eyebrow first. I mean why am I filling them in the purpose of filling the eyebrows before threading is it will give you an idea and you won't over pluck or over pull your eyebrow hair so now I'm going to apply the talcum powder so that the area is clean and dry and there's no moisturizer and the hair will be pulled easily. So now you need to just you need to pull the hair from the opposite directions. So if the hair growth is on the left side, you will pull it from the opposite side. So now you can see the hair should be in this section. So I'm doing this again and just use the other hand to pull the hair out. This looks tough. I would say it definitely needs a practice but it's not something that you cannot do. It's really easy once you get your hands on. So I am starting from the beginning first so you can see the difference right away so i'm pulling the hair from opposite direction so trying to make a clean line here the hair should be the hair that you want to pull out should be in that area where it makes like kind of a or v so the hair should be in this section and then you should use the opposite hand to make the motion like this and it will automatically pull out the hair so threading is really popular uh, versus tweezers i would highly recommend doing threading instead of using tweezers because the results last for a long time and it's less painful because it's it's faster and you can pull like more hair at once rather than just tweezing like one by one you can just do like three four hair at one time and it's really faster 
you can see the difference. So you do want to start from the closer like you want to first focus on the shape. So you can see how easy it is. It looks painful but it is not trust me it's very comfortable method it just needs some practice so I would highly recommend doing this so now at the corners I did not fast forward this process because I really want you guys to see what I am doing so that you can have an idea and you can practice at home Once I'm done, I'm brushing all the hair downwards. It will give me an idea of the shape I want on the top. And now I'm doing the same thing on my forehead. Just trying to create a clean line, clean and crisp line. Once I'm done, I'm brushing hair and then I'm just trying to trim the longer hair so I'm just trimming all the hair that I feel like are just like falling downwards so just trimming those it gives a really nice and clean look This is how it looks so it makes a huge difference as you guys can see and that was all for today's tutorial I hope you guys learned something if you did please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video and I will see you guys in my next video bye for now